Hello everybody! In today's video, we're going to be playing a game called Muse Dash. So, what is Muse Dash? It's a really cute rhythm game, and it's recently been released on Steam. It's actually originally a mobile game, uh, like uh, think of Cytus, Arkea, Demo, yes, it's for smartphones. But recently they made a PC version that you can buy on Steam right now. This video is sponsored by the people who published Muse Dash on Steam, which is XD Productions. I'm not being paid to make this video, they just gave me the game for free and the DLC, so yeah. I kinda wish companies would give me money too when they ask me to make videos. Like, all my videos that are like sponsored, I don't get money, I just get the thing for free. But you know, I was gonna buy Muse Dash anyway, so I guess this is like, God bless. So, let's play. This game is really cute, but you can tell that it's a bit fluid. <laughs> I'll show you guys what I mean. Okay, so... Okay... Oops, okay. Um, you can change characters. You know when I first showed this game to people, uh, to a friend, he said that this game looks like it's for girls. And I'm just... <laughs> for girls, yes. I'm sure a lot of girls can identify themselves with like, girls like like um this one and this one <laughs> and this one god yeah it's a game for girls <laughs> i'm not gonna get demonetized am i ass you know it's really sad that this is like one of the popular choices to get more score in the game but then like you have to you'll, you'll have to deal with like a character looking like this they don't have this girl on the mobile version. Like, this girl is so cool. The art of her here, it looks so kind of like suggestive. But when you play as her in game, she actually looks so cute and normal and cool. So, the way it works is kind of like Taiko. I said that um, the keys. Okay, I made this key overlay on my screen. So, you can kind of see how it works. All the pink notes on the bottom. So this is on the bottom, this is on the top. Why there's two buttons is so that you can alternate if there's really fast notes. Like Osu, you know. Oh yeah, and, and it has hold notes which, you know, Taiko doesn't have. Oh, they also have this point system like this, which is a bit strange for me, but I just, I just take it as notes, I guess. Hey, you can you can you can do this ghost thing, yeah. Yeah, and that's how you do it. One of the few things I really like about this game is that they have so many good songs. This this is a good song. It's a really good song. And they have pupa. Pupa is in a lot of games by now, I think. Like, I, I remember seeing it in Trinitum. I It's in some Vortex. I don't know if it's in 2DX. <laughs> BMS songs! It's so good. They have they have this song, uh, Minus Plus. The fact that they have so many of these famous songs, like, they have freaking imprinting. It's so cool. Like, why can't Arkea have more of these stuff? <laughs> good tech. It's in Arkea. Oh, I can scroll. I, oh, dude, guys, I can use... I can use my scroll wheel on my mouse to turn around. How did I only just found that? I only just realized. I, I've been playing this for two hours already. And I only just realized. And then we have Conflict. Conflict is in every single game at this point. <laughs> they have Halkion! Lyrif! I, I really like Lyrif. <laughs> it's one of my favorite songs from BMS. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Altail! I, I think a lot of people now know Altail because of that one kid that played Osumania in his talent show. Yeah. It makes me feel a little sad on one hand that this such a good song is related to a freaking talent show where someone's playing MANIA! <laughs> but you know, good song otherwise. And we have our brain power! Here's some trivia. Brain power got removed from Sound Voltex so that Noma could sell the song to other games and make more money. And that's why it's here. If it was still in Sound Voltex, it wouldn't be here. So yeah. 
Oh yes, they have Kyoki Rambu by Leaf. Cheers, Shredans! They have a lot of Chinese songs, by the way, because um, New Sense is actually a Chinese game. Okay, let me show you my favorite character first. Uh, this so at the end of each song, they have this boss that fights you, and the boss at this level, I love her. She's so cool. <laughs> It's the last girl in the character screen if you guys if I was messaging just now. You can play as her. Oof. I think this is like the only level that has like special uh character colours. Cause like normally these like enemies that you attack, they look different. They don't they don't look so cool. They don't have these hats. Beaver. Yeah, there she is. Beaver. She's so cool. Okay, <laughs> I didn't see that note. The thing about uh, Muse Dash is that I feel like it's mainly a very reading heavy game. It's those kind of games where you just don't expect yourself being able to do it well the first three times you try until you... Remember everything inside the chart. <laughs> bum, ba, 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 dum. Oh god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I, I still have like less than half of my health. It's okay. And I find it really cool that usually the boss disappears, but in this song, what she did was she just blew a kiss and disappeared. It really suits the song because um, if you actually watch the real live riff, it wasn't a good ending in the the song, in the music TV. And I'll no, I'll show you how it looks like when they when you normally complete a song. You usually just the usually the bosses they get destroyed and disappear, but this one blows a kiss and like disappear. Yeah. Like they like they're making fun of you. 
It, it's quite it's quite cool that you know this these small details. I beat my high score! Okay, nice. The reason why I've been holding back on this game is because I wanted to play it as someone who isn't like, very good at it. Because I have no idea, I just wanted to play this game as someone who sucked on, on video. <laughs> Instead of like, if I were to play Arkea. I'll show you guys the mobile version. I mean, I'm only supposed to talk about like the, the PC one, but let's look at the mobile one instead. Oh, the first thing that you can notice is different is the top part here. So the top part here, instead of just flipping through the charts like that, you only have this thing when you click for the DLC. And that's it. And then if you want to change the packs, you have to click on the default music here and you have to scroll through the stuff. So how to play on phone, it's a lot. It's basically the same. It, the way it works is really intuitive. Okay, so I have to tap the right side for the bottom and the left side for the top five. So if this is if you just instead of using keys, you're just tapping each side of the screen. That's all. So uh, another difference is the character select screen. Like uh, it has basically everything except the last one. You see, the last one here is only the devil. You don't you don't see the really cool girl on the car. She, she doesn't exist in the mobile game, which made me really sad because I want her oh, quite badly. <laughs> it's a lot harder to play on the phone, mainly because of... Uh, it's a touchscreen. I always couldn't understand people who said they didn't like touchscreen controls on mobile random games, but... Thanks to News Dash having a PC version where I could directly compare between the performance between the two and like, how it plays. It made me realize that yeah, it's so much better to play on PC. Like the game is a lot easier because like the inputs touch screen is just not a great, great input. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> okay, but yeah, this is. Okay, let me show you what happens when you die. Yeah, this happens. Okay, so what do I think of Muse Dash? I like this game. It's a very simple game, and wait, my camera is too high up. Okay. Uh, it's a very simple game. It's those kind of games that you can quickly get on and get off when uh, when you're on the go. And that's, I guess that's the whole reason why it was a mobile game in the first place. But I guess they ported it to Steam because, I mean, on Steam it has a lot more potential and I know there are people out there who just don't want to play mobile games. As we saw just now that the Steam version just plays a lot better than the mobile one. But you get the point. It's like Taiko except with cute girls. With end different controls and it's a lot harder to read. If you are interested in Muse Dash because of this video, uh, well, go buy it. It's not very expensive on Steam, it's like $4, but if you're looking at the DLC, it's uh... uh <laughs> you can buy the pack separately on your phone, but I don't think you can do that on Steam. But the Steam DLC is a lot cheaper than the phone DLC, so yeah. <laughs> Please uh, check out Muse Dash, and if you guys want to see me play another rhythm game, like a different kind, like make a video on it like this, uh, let me know in the comments what you want me to play. Because I've been thinking of making a video on Arkea, Saitas, Demo, Lanota for the longest time, I just never asked myself to. So yeah, thanks for watching.